everybody. This is Tamara Bernadette from Girl Changed. You can you can find me at www.tamarabernadette and check out my blog, uh, and it is Girl Changed. And you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter under the same name, Girl Changed. What I want to talk about um, today is, well, it's about family. It's about it's about standing up for your family. And that came about because of some stuff that's going on in my own family. And I went for a walk this morning, as I usually do. But this morning, after having a, a brief conversation with one, of my, with one of my sons, my grown sons, it really was beginning to tear at my heart about what happens to a family when there is strife. And especially when it goes on, especially when there's a history of it. And I got a little upset. I was a little upset, and then I began to get more and more upset because I thought, I thought to myself, Lord, what is going on? Because I had been uh, standing and praying for my family for years, and it seemed that I had taken a step forward because yesterday was a really good day. I had some wonderful things happen. A lady, I, a stranger I met in a bookstore, we just got to talking and sharing stories, and she prayed with me, and that was very powerful. And then today, I felt like there was a major setback. One step forward, four steps back. I know you know what I'm talking about. So I began, as the more I walked, the more I was going, the more I was feeling that energy and feeling like, you know what, I, I don't know what to do. I'm only one person because it seems like I'm the only one that's really fighting for my family. And it's a pretty good sized family. And I got, I was feeling very discouraged and wondering, Lord, where are you? We had a conversation the other day and I thought that, you know, <laughs> I thought that, every, you know, we had an understanding. Um, and because the Lord a couple things that are that I can think of at the top of my head that are you know, number one in priorities of what's really important to the Lord is family because He designed it and marriage. Uh, but that's so marriage is first and then your family. But the point is the whole thing is family. And so I've been praying for these things and I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. My family is becoming broken and and so much hurt and unforgiveness and strife and. And I feel like I'm going up against the current. And it was very discouraging, very discouraging. And I was like, you know what, I'm out of here. I mean, nobody cares. My kids don't care. They're grown. they got their own life, right? And they're trying to make their own path. Uh, they want to do their own thing. And um, I'm out here, you know, praying and praying and praying. And I say praying, like, sometimes it's all day. Sometimes it's, it's twice a day. A lot of the times the Lord wakes me up in the middle of the night to pray for somebody. And when you're praying in the Spirit, you don't know who you're praying for, but you know you're praying for somebody. And that happens a lot. And I don't know if it's because I am doing more of that, that the pressure's on. Because if God's working for you and He's sending help, He's sending in, the, he's sending in um, more uh, supernatural help. You know, he, he sends the angels out on your behalf. But, you know, the enemy hates family. He hates anything that's good. And I began to think about it. I thought, wow, you know, so he knows what's going on and trying how important it is for me to want my family restored and people talking to each other and getting along and and having that back because it's just it's just really important to have your family together instead of everybody feeling like an orphan. And I thought, um, if this is what's going on, that means the devil's trying to ruin everything. But you know what? This is the season he's really going at it. And I don't know if um, that's happening in your family. But if it's not happening in your family, I'm sure it's happening to somebody that you know. So, um, it, But it's happening all around us. The foundation of our lives, the foundation of the world, of our, of our country, is breaking down because of, because of the the family and family is being torn apart limb by limb throwing people out to the to the wolves throwing people under the bus your own family and people saying comments you see it on social media that you know they don't care about their family but they care about 
I, I don't know, they're things. They don't care about their parents. They don't care about their siblings. They don't care. They only care about their things. They only, they only care about their girlfriend or their boyfriend or, or their stuff and not realizing that they're losing their foundation because you're not going to find that support in your things. And it, and I start to look around and, and look at our society and see what's happened and it's so broken down and it's become like the normal thing for families to be broken. It's almost like, why well, get married because you're going to get divorced anyway and your children are going to be all jacked up anyway, so why? Well, that's not the way that God had planned it. And yes, we are up against some really, some really dark times, but it doesn't mean that we still can't win. So I, I thought about it and I thought, you know what, I know I'm not the only one going through this. And there's a lot of people, I'm sure, that just want to throw in the towel because the pressure is so overwhelming. And I get that. I really get that. I understand it. And if you've got some strong personalities in your family and you've got some egos, I understand that. But you know what? Don't give up. Do not give up because there is power in the Lord. And even though you might feel like you're alone, believe me, I understand that. But keep, keep, keep calling on the Lord. Keep asking for His help. Keep on. Keep asking for Him to send in help, to send in His angel armies, to send in supernatural help, and ask Him to intervene for you, to um, go to bed for you. I mean, just give you answers, and number one, to give you peace, because you cannot do this alone. Believe me, I have tried. I used to think I was the... I was the one that had to do it all. I was the one that I w that was called, and I thought I was the one who had to do it by myself. But you can't. You will. You will hurt yourself. You will. You will hurt yourself. Let's just let's call it what it is. Um, so don't do that to yourself. And I know it's hard. You want. You're angry. You're frustrated. You see no hope. And I understand that. But believe me, there are things that are going on behind the scenes. And sometimes the Lord has to break things down or let things be broken down before your your family will be ready to surrender to what God has for them. And I had to come to that realization. First, I had to come to the realization of the empty nest. Whew, that was hard. But I got over it. And um, my kids are grown now. But it still doesn't mean that I don't love being around them. And I want to be around them. But they've got their own paths that they're trying to make. But even still, we can still be a family. Same with you. You can still have a family. You can still have your family be whole and be uh, healthy and not be at each other's throats or talk about each other or say hateful, mean, and nasty things about and to one another. That doesn't have to happen. But call on to God. He's the one that can help you. He can give you the wisdom as to what you need to do. And it might feel... Like, what's the use? What's the point? And you might not see anything change for a while. But God promises that He will He will pick us up. He will change the things. He will change hearts and change change hearts and change minds. He will do some, some healing. And I believe that. I completely believe that. And I just wanted to put that out there because I know that I'm not the only one who, who's going through this. I know I'm not the only one who's praying for their big family. I know there's a lot of you out there that are going through the same thing, and I just want to encourage you, don't quit. Don't quit. It's it's too easy to quit. But then if you quit, who else is going to be praying for your family? Who else is going to do it if it's not you? And I know that seems like a huge responsibility. Believe me, I know because I went through that years ago. I wanted to just walk away because it was just way too much pressure. But then I realized if I'm not going to do it, who's going to do it? Who is going to be praying for my children? Who's going to be praying for my grandchildren? Who's going to be praying for marriages, relationships? Who's going to be praying um, for God to be in our family? Who's going to do it? If not me, then who? So I say that to you. If not you, then who? So don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just stay close to God, and He understands if you're angry and frustrated. Just don't stay there. And I knew I had to take that same advice. Be angry, okay, be angry, but don't stay there. 
because when I get angry, I don't know about you, but when I get angry, I, I, I can't think. I can't move forward in the things of God. And that is the point of what the devil's trying to do. He doesn't want you to move forward because if he can get you all cut up in all this stuff in your brain, then he's distracted you from the thing that God has called you to do, which is greater things. And he doesn't want you to do that. He wants you to be so upset, so confused, so angry, so paralyzed that you won't do anything because you can't think straight because of all the crap that's going on in your life. So don't let that happen to you. Collect yourself and realize what's going on. He's the enemy and he's out to get you, but God is for you. It might not feel like it. It might not seem like it, but trust that he is because greater things are going to happen. And I'm not just telling you, I'm telling this to myself too. So anyway, I just wanted uh, to, to say that because I thought, you know, this is going on and I want to share this with somebody. I don't want to keep this inside. I want to I tell people because God says when we suffer, we're not the only ones. There are other people around the world who are suffering as well. And we can help and lift each other up when we are going through things. So I want to encourage you. And I want you to, to realize you're not alone. So you're not alone. Anyway, thank you for watching. I pray that you have a good day and that you call on God, call on the Lord, call on the Holy Spirit get those angels working for you because that's what they're there for okay so i hope you have a blessed day and don't forget to check out my my website tamarabernadette.com and go ahead and check out my twitter and instagram i'm also on facebook under girl change but um anyway god bless you have a great one bye